Welcome back Pokemon fans and let's continue our journey here through the Kanto region. On this part of the video I'm gonna cover the third badge which uh, you'll get here at Vermilion City from the uh, Pokemon gym you'll find here. In order to get uh, to get into the gym you're gonna need cut so if you didn't cover the last part of the walkthrough which is the previous video um, go ahead and do that now it'll show you how to get uh, HM1 cut and real quick, if you don't have any rock Pokemon or ground Pokemon, uh, don't worry about it too much because you can, you can always capture uh, a Diglett from Diglett's Cave. And in order to do that, you just walk in here. You can find Diglett's uh, up to level 22 and Duck Trios. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to do that, go ahead and do that real quick. But um, off camera, I already captured one. And I also went and captured a uh, HM uh, HM uh, slate. Um, an Oddish and I taught it cut so that comes in handy because uh, the reason I did that is because I don't want to uh, teach cut to one of my valuable Pokemons like Charmeleon and stuff so I just got an Oddish and just taught it that and I'm also teach it Flash but that'll come later and then I caught this Duck Trio here you're probably like oh you should have just caught a Diglett and then evolved it it's probably better but I just want one that's a decent level um, and I'm probably going to end up switching it out later on in my videos so as you can see I also dropped my uh, my Geodude at the daycare center so yeah so anyway what you want to do is cut down the tree um, teach cut to one of your Pokemon obviously and then head inside make sure you grab some potions before you come in here um, or at least before you face the actual gym leader and there's going to be two guys here that want to battle Keep in mind, this gym here is uh, all electric Pokemon, so you're gonna need a. It's highly, it's like really, really uh, recommended that you have a um, a rock or ground uh, Pokemon. So yeah, just just a heads up. As you can see, Duck Trio makes quick work uh, out of these uh, electric Pokemon, so I'm pretty happy with that. And so then there's another battle here. Two more Pokemon, all electrics. And now oh, Magnemite. Magnemite, you can also defeat it with a. Uh, um, you can also defeat it with a fire type because it is half steel type, so yeah. And that takes care of those two trainers. And then from here, um, there's a series of trash cans as you can see. The trick to it is you need to find two switches. The first switch will be at random, and the second switch will be right next to where you found the first switch in any direction. Um, so basically what that means is if you find the first switch, the second switch will be directly right next to it, but be careful because if you mess up and let's say you find the first switch, then you look for the second switch and you don't find it, then the first switch will be reset. So that makes it a little bit complicated, but let's see if I can get lucky here. Um, so basically first you just want to look around for a switch on uh, all the trash cans. So I'm not getting any luck here. And um, hopefully I find it. So there. It's going to tell you, hey, there's a switch under the trash. And then see the first electric lock open. Now. It's going to be directly next to it, so that means it's going to be either this trash can, this trash can, or this trash can. So I'm going to go with this one, and I'm highly unlucky. So as you can see, the electric switch uh, switches were reset. Now i got to go looking for them again. So there it is. I opened the second switch, and now I can actually face the gym leader. So there's going to be a third battle here. This guy, you cannot skip him, so you might as well just uh, battle him. He only has one Pikachu here, so it shouldn't be too much uh, trouble for a Duck Trio or a Diglett. And as you can see, it's a one-hit KO with a Duck Trio at level 29. And Dig is a pretty uh, strong move, so yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go back and heal up. All right. So after you get the switches, you open the door or the weird uh, electric things there, um, and you battle the third uh, Pokemon trainer, the third free trainer. You can face. Uh, Lieutenant Sarge and that's him right there. I really recommend that you have a ground Pokemon as your lead. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and battle him now. 
you don't have a ground Pokemon, it's gonna make it a lot harder. We caught Geodude at uh, Mount Moon, and he's a decent level by now. I would really recommend that you uh, use him here as much as you can. Um, but if you don't, it's gonna make it a lot harder than it is. Uh, I have a ground Pokemon that I caught, this Doug Trio here, and I'm gonna demonstrate how much of a breeze it is with uh, ground Pokemon. He actually can't even use any uh, of his special attacks, like Thunder Shock or uh, Thunder Wave. So all he can use is physical moves on my Duck Trio with like Tackle, Slam, things like that, and that's not gonna help him very much at all. Especially since Duck Trio, uh, pretty decent defense. The only thing with Duck Trio is it has really low HP. Its HP stat, uh, stat is really low, and my accuracy sucks. Wow. So yeah, Pikachu, be careful. It's gonna be using that uh, double team a lot, which is gonna make it really hard to hit. But there, he got unlucky, and I was able to land the dig. Most of these are gonna be one hit KO with dig, because it's just a really strong move. And as you can see, uh, my HP is like really low. Um, tons of speed, decent attack, decent special attack, and special defense. But the regular defense is a bit bad, so. Yeah, and then his last Pokemon here is the Raichu. This is the one you want to be careful with. Uh, I believe it can use Slam, and uh, that would be pretty devastating for my Duck Trio, especially since the defense is so low. It's a physical move. But um, if I'm able to land uh, one or maybe even two digs, uh, then I think I should be fine. I'm going to go with Santum because he's going to be using that double team all day, and. I really want to be able to get some hits in on him and trap him with sand. Uh, so yeah, be careful with quick attack. It can be pretty dangerous. I'm gonna go with dig again. Uh, oh yeah, and then be careful because he will use super potions when his Pokemon are weak, and it'll drag on the battle uh, longer than it has to. So hopefully I can use dig, but no, look, I'm pretty unlucky there, and I'm not able to land that. Now he's freed from. Uh, Wow, this is going to make it really tough. I got like no accuracy left on him because his evasiveness is just through the roof. Wow, so this is really bad. Well, we able to land that in. That will lower some HP as he is trapped. Hopefully I can land in uh, this, uh, this dig here. And nope. I'm going to go with Mud Slap. Um, I'm gonna lower darn so yeah I'm, I'm kind of having a tough time here guys this evasiveness is just outstanding now he's used double team a couple times quite a few times actually and now he just landed a critical hit so wow pretty unlucky there my attacks are just gonna be missing another critical hit so I'm really unlucky there guys he's another super potion And I'm hoping I could land one more dig. If I could just land one dig there. Oh man, I'm really unlucky there. He got super evasive on me and I can't land not even one hit. So he just knocked out my duck trio, but lucky for me I got Charmeleon. Charmeleon's a pretty speedy guy, he could catch up pretty quick, and I'm really hoping that I could uh at least land one hit. Dang. I can't even land a hit on that guy, so maybe Pikachu will do me some good here. Um, I'm going to use Slam. And there you go, Pikachu did it. So, yeah, Pikachu is a pretty speedy guy. He's not easily fooled by evasiveness. He land a couple hits. Um, unfortunately, my Duck Trio was uh, missing all day long on me. And yeah, so Pikachu did it here, and that's uh, pretty good. So after that, once you beat him, he gives you the Thunder Badge. Now we have the Thunder Badge, that's the third badge. And he gives you a pretty nice sum of money. Then he tells you that uh, the Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed and it lets your Pokemon use fly outside of battle, which is really great. And then he gives you TM34, which uh, I believe contains Shockwave. So yeah, Shockwave, uh, that's his special move. Teach it to your electric Pokemon. It's a really strong uh, move. I believe it lowers, it has a possibility to confuse or paralyze you um, or something like that. 
Don't quote me on that, guys. But yeah, so that's how you defeat Lieutenant Sarge and get the third badge. Uh, on my next video, I'll be covering uh, the Diglett's Cave, and I'll show you guys how to get HM05 uh, Flash. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video.